Uh, good morning to uh, everyone. Uh, for today's training session, I will be showing you all how to convert the Malaysian IC of your star to the date of birth. Alright, so basically you can see that uh, there's a few examples here uh, that I'll be showing you. Uh, for example, right now you can see that under the staff now has Linda Binti Muhammad Desa. Uh, the IC number is like 20205-07-05072. So I would like to convert uh, the IC of these six numbers to become day, month, and year. So basically what I need to do here, I need to use a combination of commands of date and also left and the mid functions to get the date of birth of that particular person to be appearing out on that particular cell. So basically when I click on cell L4, I need to key in this command. Okay, you can see here that I use the function date. Okay, then open bracket left. J4 is actually looking for the IC of that particular person. And then 2 here means that 2 characters mean that it's like 2 will be appearing out. And then mid here, you can see it's still pointing to J4. And then it is from the third character with additional 2 more. So basically, it will be on the third character here will be 0. And then plus two characters will be zero seven appearing out, which would be in the month of July. All right. And then after that, I use another mid function, and still under the J four. And then five here is the fifth character, meaning that is zero. And then add in two characters more. So. It will be 0, 05. That means it will be in the day of 5th of July 1992. Alright, so when I press enter here, okay, it will appear 5th July 1992. Okay, this IC here is the format of the IC of all Malaysian staff. Alright, so basically you can see that you can get all your staff. Uh, information from their IC and then if you want to convert it to become uh, the date of birth starting with day, month, year, then use this formula. Alright, it must be have a few combinations. You have, must have the date, left and the mid uh, functions to get the date of birth of those staff. So basically now if I want to copy the formulas down to all the staff, I can move it down to this bottom right here and then when there's a plus sign, I can just drag down all the formulas to the last staff that I have working for me in my department. Alright, so all those dates and years and the months will be appearing up here. So just do a sample checking. This would be 3rd of January and then 1993. The third one would be 2nd of January 1996. So it looks correct. And I hope that this information is helpful for you. Uh, thanks very much for your time on listening to my video. Bye.